Now that we're logged into our emails, the first thing I want us to do is to add an email signature. This is going to allow us to save a lot of time. So click on the settings icon here. Look at where my mouse is at the top of the screen on the right hand side. Click on the settings icon. When this screen comes up, click into the search box on the left. Look at my mouse again. I'm going to type S, I and G. The first option that comes up is email signature. That's the one you want to click on. So click on it. And when it does come up, you're going to enter a few details here. So just follow what I do. But wherever I put the word name, you change it for your name instead. So the very first thing says email signature name. You can just type in here M A I N main. You click in the big white box underneath. So click in there once your cursor is going to be flashing. Just look at where my mouse is. I'm going to press enter three times on my keyboard. You should do the same one, two, three. Then I want you to type kind K I N D with a capital K. Then you're going to type the word regards with a capital R R E G A R D S. Put a comma. You're going to press enter. And here where I have the word name, this is where you need to type your name. Some people like to type the first name. Some people like to type the full name. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to put a nickname. Uh, King boss, right? That's the nickname I'm putting. You can put your name. It can be first name or it can be last name. Doesn't really matter. Once you've done that, go to the very bottom where it says save and click on save. After you've clicked on save, you're going to go to this section that says select default signatures for new messages for replies and forwards. You should click on where it says no signature and select main and on the other one as well and select main click save again now what this is going to do every time you write a new email this is going to be added there automatically so you don't have to keep typing this and we can do one more thing to this to get away with some formatting and what i would do i would highlight the name and i would make it bold or underlined or italics whatever you want and that's going to satisfy one of the things that we have to do. So for me, I'm going to click on italics and that makes my name slant to the right. Then I'm going to click on save again and that's it. I'm done. So every time I write a new email, this is going to be present. Close it. Now let's test that it works. We're not, we're not going to send an email. All we have to do is click on new email and if it comes up on the new email, then we know it's worked. So click on where it says new email there at the top. Perfect. It popped up straight away. So I know it's working. So we do this just like we normally do email address to, of the person, the subject of the email, and we type our normal email here.